The four rules of safe gun handling. 1. Treat all guns as if they're loaded. 2. Never let your muzzle cover anything you're not prepared to destroy. This is your primary safety. That is to say, keep your gun pointed in the safest possible direction at all times. 3. Keep your finger above the trigger guard until you're ready for the gun to fire. 4. Identify your target and know what is around and beyond it. Additional considerations of gun handling. Know the readiness status of a weapon. Know the law. Store weapons where they are not accessible to unauthorized persons. Scope of this video. This video is intended for those using only minimal equipment outside of typical everyday carry gear. While there are several computerized dry practice systems, they are outside of the scope of this video. What exactly is dry practice? Dry practice means pressing the trigger, and, or, manipulating a firearm with no ammunition in it. It can also be extended to other weapons and to dynamics of a situation. It is a parallel to kata in the martial arts. Why do dry practice? Marksmanship and gun handling are perishable skills and should be practiced on a regular basis. Ammunition is expensive. Time to go to the range is not always available. Master instructor Tom Givens puts it in this way, when you last practiced is more important than how much you last practiced. Dry practice is an excellent way to learn to read the sights and make good marksmanship decisions. Note that marksmanship decisions does not mean the same thing as deadly force decisions. It gives you the opportunity to practice some things many ranges do not allow you to do at the range. An example is drawing the pistol from a holster. It allows you to practice some things you cannot practice safely live fire. An example is drawing the pistol with the support hand. Dry practice is a specific practice component of most champion shooters. Will dry practice damage my pistol? Most modern service pistols, Glock, Beretta, MNP, will not be damaged by dry practice. A few pistols, example Caltech PF9, require something in the chamber to protect their mechanism. Not all dummy rounds have a full primer and therefore may not protect the firing pin adequately. Several inexpensive training aids are available that will both provide peace of mind about the pistol, and, add an additional level of safety for dry practice. These will be covered in a future video. Rimfire firearms, always, require something in the chamber to protect the firing pin. Yellow, number 4, drywall anchors, available at home improvement stores, work very well for 22 rimfire firearms. What can we practice using dry practice? Almost all aspects of shooting except recoil management. Grip. Stance. Sight alignment. Trigger press manipulation. Weapon manipulation, such as. Reloading. Malfunction clearance. Using the firearm in conjunction with other tools, such as a flashlight. And many more aspects of gun handling. Where can we dry practice? Dry practice can be done both at home and at a live fire range. By using dry practice at the range in conjunction with live fire, you can achieve better results during your live fire practice. At home, a specific area should be designated for dry practice. Impromptu dry practice on targets such as light switches, televisions, the cat, etc. is dangerous and strongly discouraged. Procedures for setting up a safe dry practice area in your home will be covered in a subsequent video. How long does dry practice take? Doing dry practice for 10 minutes two or three times weekly can provide a great deal of skill development to gun owners. Once a safe dry practice area is established in the home, a dry practice session takes no longer than making a pot of coffee. A specific example of dry practice. 
The fourth rule of safe gun handling is Identify your target and know what is around and beyond it. Obeying this rule would prevent numerous tragedies each year caused by gun owners shooting a family member in the dark. Simply shining a flashlight on the innocent victim would have prevented the tragedy. However, manipulating a flashlight in conjunction with holding a handgun is not an intuitive skill. Dry practice is an ideal way for gun owners to learn the mandatory skill of shining a flashlight while holding the handgun in a safe direction. A video example The following is a video example of one section of a basic dry practice session. It consists of five presentations from low ready, below the suspect's feet, at seven feet, the far phase of prochemic social space. Note that the mandatory safety procedures before and after the session are not included in the video. Conclusion Every responsible gun owner should understand the fundamentals of dry practice and do it on a regular basis. Even during periods of ammunition shortage and limited time availability, dry practice gives gun owners the opportunity to grow their skill level and protect their families from tragedy.